Hey guys, it's Alexa, and today I went and visited John Updike's childhood home in Shillington. John lived here from his birth in 1932 until he was 13 years old. It is widely known that Shillington and the city of Reading were the inspirational foundation behind many of his stories and novels, two of which would be recognized with the Pulitzer Prize. This house earned itself a spot on the U.S. National Register of Historic Places in 2019 and was set to open as a museum in 2020 by the John Updike Society. COVID ultimately ended up pushing that back. The Society did officially dedicate the historical marker in October of 2021. The home, built in 1884 and purchased by John's grandparents in 1922, was also the subject of much of his work. In 1945, his mother moved their family to his grandparents' farm in Plowville. Updike was so affected by leaving, he would write a famous essay titled The Dogwood Tree, A Boyhood, about a tree that was planted aside the home in celebration of his birth. The dogwood tree is still standing next to the house. The museum is now open to the public on Saturdays between 12 and 2. I'll link the museum's website in the description so you can find more info. I'm going to take you inside for a sneak peek, but I urge you to go check it out for yourself. The museum is 10 rooms of exhibits about John's life and career as a writer. The home was restored to how it would have looked while the Updike family lived there. John was undoubtedly a sentimentalist. Shillington was his entire world when he lived in this house as a boy. The two windows on the far right of the second story were his bedroom. I wonder how often he looked out those portals, wondering what the future had in store for him. Out the back, north-facing window was the basketball courts and the back of Shillington High School, where his father taught math and he himself would graduate in 1950. He was the president of his graduating class, and he wrote a poem that was published in the Shillington High 1950 yearbook. I'm going to close this video out by reading it to you. There was a time, quite long ago, when we were young and wished with all our hearts that we might stand where we now stand and be what we now are. For we were little then, and sure that time for us stood still. But notch by notch, it moved us upward through the love and hate and pain and fear and fun of growing up until we blinking stand upon the edge of this, our world, equipped with both a future and a past. Though some may meet and talk and smile again, the magic moment we once shared is lost for all eternity. Good luck, my friend, for now we part with each a little of my heart. Thank you.